Oh yeah. Oh, I did a big knock. Good morning, sweetie smitcher. Looks like someone took my reading spot. Oh, Rue, were you sniffing my coffee? You know that you can't have any of that. She loves to bonk her snoot against the camera. I'm just gonna sit over here with you, Larry, okay? What happened to my head? Why does my why is my head cut off? <laughs> Greetings, loved ones, and welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up, like probably 20 minutes ago, and I had a dream about John B from Outer Banks. So that was crazy. I won't go into too many details, but it wasn't like sexual. It was more so like he invited me to some party and we were waiting on Finley to show up for forever. And he was like, come on, like I'm supposed to launch my new book right now. I guess that is a lot of details. Anyways, that was an odd way to uh, wake up. But you know, here we are. It's really hot today. So I woke up in like a pool of sweat and today is Monday aka june 20th oh it's finley's little sister's birthday anyways finley is out of town currently for the next seven more days six more days and i wanted to vlog just because well one i need someone to talk to and two i'm getting you know a reasonable amount of stuff done around the house and i wanted to start some herbalism projects today so i was gonna film it for you guys and yeah, just have you hang out with me and show you the dogs and the pigs and, you know, just all of the usual stuff, but instead it'll just be a Meg vlog, you know? And today I actually have to do some mycology work for Finley, just very minor things. I'm just taking care of the mushroom grow room downstairs as well as in the tiny house, and so I'm going to be doing some of that. But before I get to all of my daily priorities, I'm going to read a chapter of my book. I've been reading this book with um, my book club on Instagram over the past month, and I'm almost done with it, actually. I only have a couple more chapters to go. But this is a fantastic book if you are looking for a new anti-racism read. I'm gonna have my coffee, read my book, hang out with my butterfly bush. That's what this is actually called, is butterfly bush lilac and oh boy at a certain time of day not right now not normally in the morning but more so in the mid-afternoon it attracts a lot of butterflies and it's crazy i love it i'm having a gorgeous stunning beautiful blueberry bagel for breakfast today from harmony bakery which i was raving about in my last vlog and after i eat this i'm going to tackle the dishes there's so many <laughs> Oh, there's so many. I just never understand how I can make so many dishes when I'm literally only cooking for myself. It makes no sense, but. All right, woo-wee. All the dishes have been done. This is what I'm saying. I literally did the dishes two days ago from when I'm filming this right now, and I already made all of these in that two-day period. Like, am I okay? The answer is no. But anyways, I need to take some stuff downstairs, this freaking siphon. I need to get some jars from the basement to do my herbalism stuff. It's so funny that I just did all these dishes because I'm just gonna do more herbalism stuff today and probably make more. I need to split this into two or three jars depending on how much can fit and I'm gonna send it off to some friends. It's just like a calendula oil that still needs to sit so I'm gonna send it with the buds in there. But I was just sitting here thinking of like jars to put stuff in and you know how Finley and I, I don't think we vlogged the day that we made it. I feel like maybe I put in a little clip of us putting it together and mostly filmed it on my Instagram story. But when, when we made that shelf, it was for all of our extra jars. And now I have commandeered so many of the jars for my medicine cabinet. Oops. So now with all of them in here, I'm like, damn dude, I need more already. And then I remembered, okay, wait, we thrifted from some antique store, like a whole case of jars for like $5 last summer. Where are they? And then I remembered where they are. So this all being said, bringing this into the basement. I'm also going to show you guys Finley's little grow room setup because I think he just showed you the lab where he was doing all of the 
kind of like culture stuff in the last vlog, but I don't think he showed you the grow setup, which is crazy. It's kind of like a fruiting setup, I would say. It's like tarped with all of this plastic that was covering our last greenhouse and there's a bunch of little duct tape things on it that because of the little holes um, the sun kind of wore it down and stuff. I need to put on a light down here. But yeah, he reused this big old plastic sheet and just got like a wood frame box situation going that he built. I'm sorry if you can hear Rue crying. She's scared of the stairs. So she just likes to cry at the top of them when I'm down here. But yeah, it's really tall, goes all the way up to the ceiling and he has a bunch of shelves inside of it with fruiting bags right now. And you can see the moisture on the inside, I can't touch it on the outside because there is a reservoir back here that's pumping in some moisture so that it's staying really humid in here. And the lion's mane mushrooms that are in there are just fucking loving it. So I'm gonna show you the sitch with that. Ooh, it is Fogtown USA, baby. CO2 out the booty hole. Okay, <laughs> this is all of our lion's mane. I'm just gonna show you really fast. Wow. Love her, she's doing great, really voluptuous, so hairy, insane. These ones are doing so much better in this environment specifically compared to the one that um, fruited on our counter in our kitchen. So it's definitely this bad boy pumping in. Woo, you're steaming up. It's definitely helping it out. Um, I might harvest these either today or tomorrow. These are some oysters. And then over on this other side, it's just a bunch of reishi and they're all not fruiting. So nothing to see there, but I wanted to show you guys. So I've decided upon dividing this big mason jar into two smaller mason jars that I found in the basement. It worked out great. Now, after I split this, I can make Another batch. Actually, now that I think about it, I can't do that because I don't have enough carrier oil. Fuck my fucking life. Now we go for two. I'm trying to make them like perfectly even. I know that these are gonna be shaken a little bit when I ship them to my friends, but I'm just trying to jar them as nicely as I can. Woohoo! Okay, now I just need to label them with dates to strain. Also, before I forget, because I just saw this little jar over there, I need to collect more self-heal today from my yard. It's the season of self-heal, truly. A great anti-inflammatory doing a great job in my yard, personally, so it might be growing around you as well. Voila, <laughs> my little labels. I love these labels so much. Finley gave me them for my birthday and they've just been so fantastic. They're really easy to like readjust and very they're very light labels. So they just look super cute on the top of the jar as well. Many perks, many perks. I would like to say though that um, I am probably going to start selling calendula oil. I don't know if I'll make like an Etsy page in the future or something for tinctures and body care products. I know a lot of you have been asking about that. I get a lot of DMs about calendula oil and it's just a great skincare product. Honestly, it's helped me heal my skin so much and um, I'm happy to provide because I have a shit ton of calendula growing in my garden. <laughs> way more than last year. But yeah, just stay tuned, I suppose, and I'll let you guys know on Instagram or whatever if I um, sell that stuff. And you can go get some for yourself. But for now, these are for two pals. Also, yes, my dress is not tied in the back. My sunburn just hurts. And any clothes that are too tight on it just itches or hurts and it's just no good. I'm gonna package these up head to the post office. One hour later. All right, folks, so getting to my herbalism things. Look at my pen, I'm ready to go. Fuck this fly, if you can hear it. There's so many flies in my house right now and I don't even keep my doors open, so I don't know how they get in. I think from the basement, honestly. Anyways, this is something that I wanted to make today. It's a sunburn aloe infusion. So I'm just gonna let it focus here. If you guys ever wanna make this, screenshot the page, all right? 
Um, most things I make are from healing herbal infusions, although I have been delving into Miss Rosemary Gladstar's medicinal herb book recently. I have a bunch of calendula drying over there if you're wondering what that is. Anyways, yes, I need some chickweed for this recipe and honestly I saw chickweed in my yard in like springtime, probably like two months ago, and I have not seen it since. So, I don't know, I texted my neighbor Olya and let her know that if she finds any in her yard to let me know, but I can't make that until I do have chickweed. So I'll keep my eyes peeled, but something I did wanna make today. Well, first I need to get to some um, other recipes that I have infusing right now that I haven't strained, but they're ready to be strained. So I'm probably gonna be um, doing a little bit of that today, but I'm also gonna be making this immune boosting vinegar infusion which I love vinegar infusions honestly like if it has enough good stuff in it or if I make like an oxymel that has honey in it it's actually really easy to take down and this one is just a vinegar infusion not an oxymel and oxymel would be like honey and apple cider vinegar and then a bunch of stuff that would sit in it so I made a huge oxymel batch like last summer or something like that that just had an abundance of herbs that were growing in my yard and I just put them in that. I'm pretty sure the recipe is in this book. Honestly, if you haven't gotten this book yet but you love herbalism, freaking get your hands on it. I think it's like $12, $15. Oh, this one, okay, it actually could be made into an oxymel with raw honey in it. It's just optional. So I'm probably gonna add it in because like I said, the honey makes it easier to take down. Um, but yeah, I've had some turmeric that I bought probably about two weeks ago sitting in my fridge and I just keep forgetting to put all this together. So I'm gonna make that. Honestly, <laughs> I know that this is absurd, but I'm making all of this medicine because Finley, like I said, is uh, in San Diego right now. And California has so many corona cases. I'm just like taking all of the precautions that I might need when he gets home. You know, like knock on wood that nothing bad happens. He really is only seeing like maybe three friends, maybe. <laughs> so he's being careful. He brought his mask and everything like that and really just wanted to go down to see his best friend for his birthday and record his next EP. Anywho's, um, I am out here just like, okay, I'm gonna have the medicine cabinet stacked just in case, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a handful of things in the kitchen and I hope you'll join me. And it's about 4.30ish right now. I just sent off those calendula oils. I'm streaming in about an hour and a half, a little bit less. So I'm gonna eat something, do my herbalism shit, and probably just do that until the stream. I was gonna try to work out today, but honestly, my back, because I've had this sunburn. It's just now started to peel. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Sometimes the brightness on my camera gets like two notches turned up and I'm just like, no, I don't want to look this fucking white. I already am very white. But yes, very itchy, starting to peel, finally in that peeling stage, but it's incredibly uncomfortable. And up until today, really when it started peeling, my arms, like I could not move them proper. I also had sunburned legs, and honestly, I was just taking it as an excuse to just like take a fucking break from working out. So I'm probably gonna do a leg workout sometime tomorrow, but I'm not too worried about it today, even though that was my original plan. I've just been hanging out, reading, doing the dishes, doing things that I needed to get done. That's the story of my life, truly. Also, I just wanted to say that if you guys are like, why aren't you hanging out with friends while Finley's gone? Um, throughout the pandemic, we have been seeing our best friend out here, Annalie, and she just recently sprained her ankle the last time she was at our house. It was horrendous, and she's still recovering from that. And I might see her this week. Oh, also my friend Natalie's moving at the beginning of August, so I need to see her before she goes. Anyways, might hang out with some people, but like, probably not. <laughs> Let's be honest. And also the reason why I'm staying here and like didn't go with Finley is because one, I wanted him to have his own time, you know, with his BFF and also needed to take care of things here on the farm. The pigs are pretty low maintenance, but the dogs, I didn't want to like find care for the dogs. 
and he has a bunch of mushrooms growing right now that cannot be abandoned. <laughs> so I've been taking care of those, watering the garden, living my best life. I don't know why I'm doing this big explanation right now, but I just felt like you should know it. I don't know. Um, anyways, me and Marley, my sock monkey, are, we need to be alone. So please, I'm gonna turn off the camera now. <laughs> This just in. I don't have any ginger, although I thought I did indeed have some. <laughs> so I need to get groceries anyways, probably tomorrow or something of the sort. So I'm probably just gonna get some then and postpone some of the other um, things that I, were, I was gonna start to infuse today, but that's okay. I mean, it's not like I haven't been waiting anyways with this turmeric. But on another note, I'm gonna go and collect some self-heal in my little jar and show you guys some garden updates because it's getting pretty crazy out there, okay? I will admit. We have a bunch of potatoes over here by the house and they always thrive in this location. So we have a bunch more this year over here doing great. This is Finley's outdoor mushroom bed. And we see some like mycelial growth in there, but nothing insane. So it hasn't started to fruit yet, but we shall see. I found this surprise artichoke that I forgot was planted here in 2018. Um, I planted two of them, but it looks like one of them died off, but this one's thriving. So love her, hoping for a, a little artichoke from this plant this year. Although we do have an abundance of other ones on our big plant. Oh, you're pooping, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. All right, I watered all of this last night, so if it looks a little dead, don't worry. It is quenched, actually. Um, cabbage, some broccoli that we already harvested. There's a bunch of garlic around the perimeter of this bed, and then we have a bunch of kale that's still thriving, so that's great. Um, a lot of our broccoli over here, though, I honestly should eat this tonight because, as you can see, it's like mostly flowers that are now opening up, but we do have um, a couple of big boys over here but yeah I honestly just leave the bolting broccoli to the bees and then I feed it to the pigs but yeah we've cut off a bunch of heads in here the broccoli has been insane this year um, our lettuce is also starting to bolt so I've been ripping these up and actually giving them to the pigs so maybe we'll do that now as a little special treat hi girls yeah here's a whole lettuce tree for you Enjoy. You have to let Ducky get at that, Peachy. She's gonna come around the other side. There it is. Yeah, everybody can have a bite of the lettuce tree. The lettuce tree picks no favorites. All right, and let's see, wait. Okay, there it is. I was about to say I left a strawberry to ripen on the vine last night and it wasn't fucking there, but I found it. So successful strawberries amongst all these potatoes. They definitely, I need to water more consistently because it's been like in the high 80s here lately. These were something, these peas were something that actually got eaten back by I believe a rabbit at the beginning of when we planted them in the springtime. And I didn't think they would come back, but they did. And so they're thriving, been eating about one or two of these every day, leaving them to just kind of ripen and get a little plumper. Lindsay, if you're watching this, this one's for you. All right, but now we have the real fucking deal, okay? Calendula is thriving amongst the sides of the garden all the way down there. We got kale, we got beans, we got mustard greens. That's what I identified those as after not knowing what they were in my last vlog. Um, but yeah, the kale is doing really great. The potatoes are actually gonna be ready for harvest pretty soon here because they're, they already flowered and some of them are still flowering, but they're starting to die back. 
Um, our squash is doing insane. We have like at least 12 squash plants on this side as well as a couple more on the other side. So that's gonna be awesome. I also planted a bunch of random seeds in here, just hoping they would germinate and some of them did. So very excited about that. These calendula, I did not plant. So they just kind of, I guess when they flowered and died back, the wind took them away, you know? Um, but yeah, we have a bunch of volunteer tomato plants this year. These ones in this row right here that are concentrated together, I actually did plant and I need to relocate those. We have some baby little peppers coming up. Um, this is some flowering cilantro and I need to actually harvest the seeds because my neighbor Olia told me that cilantro that goes to seed is coriander seed and that is my favorite spice. Incredible. Um, these over here are, I believe, some kind of lettuce head, head of lettuce. I don't really know what they are, but um, I haven't seen them in the garden before, so it's looking nice. The reason I don't know what a lot of this is is because it wasn't labeled in my seed bank and I just kind of threw them all in. But these I identified as radishes. So we have some radish boys growing in here, just a couple of them, but I'm very excited about it because I didn't think that these would come up um, when I threw the seeds down. We also have some Swiss chard back here. This is all the potatoes all the greens. I have a whole line of carrots that are coming up. Um, and then over here is just a bunch of sporadic plants. This is actually how I got sunburned, which was weeding this whole side of the bed the other day. But um, I'm running out of battery, so I'm gonna run over to show you the last of it. Our onions are gonna be ready for harvest very soon. We got some real big boys in here, as you can see. Also, the squash that's in here is actually, shit, it's starting to flower. Amazing, I can cook those up. We also have some rhubarb, which died at the beginning of the season, came back, love her. And then over here, a lot of our broccoli was doing insanely well, um, and now it's bolting and flowering because I can't eat it fast enough. So I'm trying to give it to the bigs, give it to friends, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, you can see the bees are loving it. And then in here, we got some cauliflower heads growing, which if you guys saw my Instagram post about the cauliflower, it's really doing good. This one actually I could harvest for dinner tonight. I might do that a little later, give it a little more sun time. But yeah, these cabbage are gonna be ready for harvest soon too. There's a ton of cabbage that we have this year, uh, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more time as well. But yeah, that's the general overview of the garden. Truly thriving, kind of a late but surprise season for us because we had so much rain and then when the sun came around, everything was just like, whoosh, here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna go find my self heal now. I knew you would be here. This is really the trusty patch though. Get those spider webs away, please. Now with a lot of these flowering medicines, you wanna grab the last two leaves as well, closer to the top. Get the whole resinous budding material from the top. And Finley even actually like drove over this with the lawnmower and it still came back strong. So I expect it to come back. Oh my God. Oh my God, the first plums the season oh my god they're here hi peanuts sorry guys my camera died when i was outside but the plum i ate was divine very excited about those ripening i'm also very excited about this garlicky kale salad i just made the recipe was super simple i left out the small zucchini though because i don't have any zucchini right now and instead of adding that i added in a vegan spicy chicken patty from corn they're fantastic and i'm excited to eat this I have to leave you guys now and go stream, but I'll probably vlog the stream at some point. <laughs> I just got done streaming and leaned over and saw my camera. Fully forgot about you. Once we be hitting the weed, you know it is just downhill from there, brother. I can't be, I cannot be responsible for forgetting things. Where did you go, doghouse doghouses? <whistles> I thought we were all gonna play ball. Also, look at this iconic rose. She's been blooming for for days. You bloomin' baby. Dash Arden Rose. You blossomin' baby, I said it wrong. <laughs>
All right, I'm making an alcoholic beverage. I haven't made a mixed drink in a freaking while. I guess I should mix it actually in the mixer. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put you up here. Not the best lighting, but it's what we're working with. I'll try to spice it up a little bit. There it is. So I have this herbal lemonade that has lilac, spearmint, lemon balm, feel like something else possibly in there. And it's been there for two days or something. It infused in the sun for one of those days, but I'm gonna pour a little bit of it through a strainer. Two shots of vodka. By the way, my hand says shy because I keep calling a girl in my chat Shay, cause that's how it's spelled, is spelled like Shay, but she pronounces her name shy and I keep just calling her Shay, 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 you know? So I wrote it on my hand, I was like, you know what? I will remember, I'm writing it on my hand. Shy. So that's why that's there. <laughs> Give me one second, doghouse. Rue's really eager tonight to party. She was partying on the stream. Not a shock, you know? Something she does pretty often. Two icy cubes. Give me one second, Larry. I'm gonna find a ball and I'll meet you out there. Mom's busy. <laughs> I might need a larger glass. That's something I'm now realizing. So this is how I make all the dishes. <laughs> the amount of cups and jars out right now, I'm not okay. And of course, like if I make dinner, it just becomes so much worse, you know? Anyways, cheers. Let's try it out. Can't even taste the vodka. Great. That's what I like to hear. Or taste. That's what I like to taste. You lost it? Oh no. You found it. You found it, Mary. Wow. You can't keep up, you're so fast. Fast as dog and orange. Oh no, now the peanut has it. Oh no, the peanut has it. Rue, she has the tiniest mouth in the whole world. And she just clenches onto that little tiny ball and she does not drop it for dear life. Wait, she's pooping. I can get it. Yeah, show everybody how fast you are, Rue. Ready? <laughs> she does a little bunny hop through the grass. I'll see you guys later. This is gonna be our reality for a while. <laughs> Wow, well would you look who it is? Ducky is covered in mud. Hi Peach. <laughs> yeah, you're cute, so what? I'll give you some. Oh, I got attacked by a fucking blackberry. I have come for the cauliflower. Yes. I'm going to leave the stem in hopes that it ooh, generates a new one. A leaf fell off. For the past two nights, I've been watching Pose, bitch. It's incredible. If you are looking for a new show to watch on Netflix, please watch this. Truly, I'm only on episode two and it's fucking iconic. We love queer, black, trans representation. These dogs are asleep though. They're not even seeing how iconic this show is. That's okay. This is what I'm doing currently. I'm probably gonna make an egg sandwich in a little bit. Nothing too crazy happening over here, I'll be honest. Who's coming in? Coming in. Larry likes to stay out there because it's nice and warm for his belly. Good morning, good morning. I slept in this morning. But really, it's 11 a.m. right now. I don't know why I'm squatting for this shot, but I am. Also, yeah, I need to take a shower today. That's why I've been wearing bandanas for the past two days. <laughs> but last night, I literally only had a cocktail and a half, and then I woke up with a headache, and I was like, did I really get hungover from just, like, basically a drink and a half? And then I checked my fucking period app, and I was like, oh, this makes sense. I always get a migraine the day before my period, which is supposed to come tomorrow. So it's all making sense. Um, I'm going to have some coffee. Just freaking take it easy. 
on the couch reading my book this is what I do every morning. But I did want to say that today, or tonight actually, Ani is going to be coming over and we're just going to be hanging out and drinking wine and making crafts and we're just going to see where the night takes us, truly. So um, that's my current plan for at least the evening. And then I might try to film something today for my Patreon, but other than that, kind of a freebie. Also, I wanted to say that I'm currently taking a scrolling break, <laughs> I'm going to call it truly, because um, I deleted Twitter off my phone, I'm still keeping Instagram to share book club updates because I'm getting there with this book. I think I have like maybe two chapters left, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna do anything work related. I'm still gonna be posting about like if I post a new video or something to Patreon or something that I need to share across socials, I'll share that. And that's just until further notice, especially with Finley gone. Like if I'm just sitting here with the dogs, I'll just be like, beep, bop, boop, love my phone for like four hours out of the day, you know, screen time. It's insane. So <laughs> I just need a break and I have other reasons, but mostly it's just a time waster. So I'm going to be reading a lot, probably picking up another book honestly today because I'll have some more time and now that I'm looking at it I need to clean the house too so <laughs> oh boy but the thing about cleaning the house is I want to make a deep clean with me video before Finley gets back home like just skin clean it to where it'll be sparkling beautiful upon his arrival you know what I mean and if I do some of the cleaning today that's fine but it's just gonna be tidying not a deep clean that's what I'm telling myself. Ani doesn't freaking care, you know? She doesn't want the house to be deep cleaned for her. In fact, she would probably tell me, no ma'am, don't do that for me. I finished my book. It was absolutely a stunning anti-racism read. Pick it up. Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. What a guy. What a guy. Do a push up. I want to see you try, Riddle. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back on the old mat. I'm about to do a five minute warm up video from Mad Fit. I know I look bald with my hair pulled back like this. Kind of a look, though, you know? Anywho's, I normally do the five minute warm up from Maddie Mad Fit because it's just really easy and it really just gets the joints going, you know? But I just decided to get back into the old workout routine after taking about a week and a half off, dare I say even longer. So I haven't been doing great, but it's always good to get back on the wagon. So we're gonna do that right now. folks I am showered and I'm so happy I worked out because it had been so long since the last time I had and I kind of tidied up just the downstairs generally made the guest room bed feeling good live in life it's really amazing the amount of things I can get done when I'm not wasting time on social media love that for me um, I'm about to go grocery shopping in a little bit just to get a handful of goodies for tonight for Ani, but also myself for the rest of the week. So I'm just kind of compiling that list currently. I don't need too many things, just, just a handful. And then Ani will be coming over in just a few hours. So I have some time to go and get all of the goods. All right, brothers. Ready for my grocery store experience. Love my homemade mask. It's perfectly fitting. 20 minutes later. All right, folks, I had a very in and out experience today at the Safeway. The Jeep that's parked in front of me 
has a big old sticker on the front of it that says filthy dirty jeep girl so that's how you know folks we're in the country oh my gourd i was just shot by my hand sanitizer that's appalling anyways sanitizing the hands took my mask off really happy that we have a statewide mask mandate now very exciting stuff and my Safeway is now doing drive up drop off so more at risk folks don't even have to leave their car which is something that is new upon coming here anywho I'm gonna head home now it's a very brisk visit happy to get all the things that I did I basically just got like lemons ginger corn products and tomatoes <laughs> Here we have <laughs> an unfocused green curry cauliflower roast. From the Hot for Food cookbook. This woman. Love her. So throw much. this and many other things boy. in there and it's yeah. just. This was actually the one I showed you in yesterday's vlog, guys. And well, I was You've like, already been I, introduced. <laughs> yeah, I might eat this tonight and then I instead I had an egg sandwich and I really wanted to save it for Ani to indulge in. I'm but say we did a really fantastic job compared to the photo because. Honestly, yeah. You can get them both in the shot. We yeah, are so we're pretty. feeling good about that. And we got some wild, wild rice, rice with lentils. Some lentils in there. I rarely make this rice. It's in the bulk bins at Winco, and I have at I... least three pounds of it. I have the same rice, and I love it. Do you eat it a lot? No. Wild rice reminds me of my youth. And Why? Lisa, Lisa Hughes. She would make this a lot. I love Lisa. She I also love Lisa, but I did not me. like the rice in my youth, I will say. Um, but now I have grown more accustomed to it. I like her work. Does she need to cook some more? Things? Yeah, it has some, Still some liquid. Okay. So I'm well, just going to kind of let her We'll know let you know about this life. later. Okay, guys. Really exciting quick update. What I could not make for you yesterday, I did not have both lemons, enough of them, enough riz, or enough <laughs> ginger. And so we made it today. I went shopping and got a little bit of that and we made the oh fuck what was it even called it's just an immune boosting vintage vinegar i was gonna call it a vinegar it's vantage <laughs> to get laugh it is an advantage of laugh to be taking this <laughs> but i made two batches one for the woman to take to take home to her roommate it's me. It's me. <laughs> i'm the woman don't you forget about it Gotta love a reuse jar with a little medicine in it. It's gonna infuse for four to six weeks, so we have a lot of time. I just realized we have what? to label it, so you'll remember when to strain it out. Guess what? I am approximately six days away from straining my commercial oil. oil. Hell yes. I looked at it today and got really excited. Fine. Although, not gonna lie, you did use it one time too early. It's totally fine. But you, can, you can honestly leave it in there. Like as well, but sometimes it gets on you the plant particles and yeah. it's like a no. Wow. She's really tender. I'd say we cooked wow. it for the most beautiful amount of time possible. One of my blueberries is right beneath. Hello vlog, I'm currently sewing Mrs. Piggy's ear back onto her body for Rue because this was her birthday present toy and she broke it the heck open. Um, Ani's currently doing the dishes for me, being a legend, truly woman of the world. Um, <laughs> and our friend Natalie is on her way over right now because Natalie is moving back home to Iowa in like a week or so from today and we're gonna say goodbye and hang out with her and i just got done doing a little it's like a youtube class a youtube summit class with my management company and people from youtube who were basically just talking about like monetization and like advertiser friendly guidelines 
and my woman's going to pee. And yeah, they're just kind of talking about various things that I struggle with and have questions with. So I wanted to attend that one specifically. I know my management company has been doing them like throughout quarantine, but this was the first one I had attended and it was great, you know, hearing people actually who work at YouTube talk about what is allowed and what gets you demonetized is something I needed to hear, you know? Rue, you can't just cry at Ani every time she goes to the bathroom. That's a little rude. I need to find something to, oh, my printer just turned on. I need to find something to cut this with. Oh, she also wants Pinochle Pig. This is Pinochle Pig. One of her favorite toys, aside from her giant mushroom. Anywho's, happy I did that. We've just been having a um, slow morning, hanging out drinking coffee, playing with Mrs. Rue. No, I couldn't even hear you pee. Okay guys, I've just turned on the hose and we've been hanging out in the hog pen and I've just been um, petting them and brushing them and just realizing that they really have a lot of like mud on the sides of them because they've been doing so much mud bathing to cool off. So I turned on the hose and I'm gonna hose them down and I figured it was some some vlog worthy content so you need to see it, okay? Wow, you heard my call. Yeah. That's nice. I won't do your head. I won't do your head. She doesn't like her head. She's really, really dirty. Ducky's even worse. Yeah, Ducky, I'm talking about you. Come over here. who needs it most. Wow, that's so nice. Oh, don't spray that water on me. Don't shake it down on me. I'm not in my bathing suit like I normally am. That's so nice, Ducky. So nice. Can I get your actual stinky side? Come here, Ducky. There's a squash growing right here. She likes it. She's walking <laughs> towards it. Oh my god, look at all that mud. I know. Wow. All on the one side of her is where she lays, I'm pretty sure. I can I need to get it from behind your ear. Peachy wants a second hit. <laughs> this is a good cool off for you. I should bring the sprinkler in here. We wanted to do this idea where like they would step on a touch pad and it would turn on a shower for them. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know how we would do something like that, but I like. I bet, it's an eagle. I bet it's possible. I'm cleaning her behind just in case. She likes it. She's so twerking. Do you see this butt? She keeps going like this. Yeah, you're swinging that thing around. <laughs> She's leaving me now. She sees you. <laughs> I want her to do it again. That was so silly. I wonder if Becky would do it. My God. <gasps> oh, you turn around. I just washed you off. Oh my God. She was just taking she a little is my dip. Icon, my number one lady. She is and worthy like of any oh, mud bath she wants. They dug this for themselves, this freaking pit. Hey, don't get your mud on her You're pants. Crazy. She's trying to get it on her pants. We all have hay ass. <laughs> oh, wait, I found another shaded woman. What are you doing? You're just hanging out over here alone? <laughs> You're really mouthy. <laughs> I love when you make that.
that noise. I really love when you make that noise. She twerks when she scratch when she scratches herself. Do a twerk for everyone. There, this is their spa day treatment right now. You got mud all over that snooter. No, you will not be putting it on me, snooter dooter. Mud mouth. I see it in your teeth, Miss Ducky. That's gross. They're all taking the scratching post today. We need to put bristles on the side of this or something for them. This is my favorite content. It's the hog content. Come here. Let me move your tail aside. <laughs> you liked it her on face. your butt? Her, her little snout. She actually maybe didn't like it and was like, can I sit? <laughs> She's like, don't do that to my bikini. Oh my god. Like, I did not order a douche today, ma'am. Yeah, I douched Sorry. some. Peachy liked it. <laughs> You're really sitting that ass down, Peach. That's a shake seat. It, shake it. If you wanted me to turn on the camera, you could just let me know. You don't have to eat it. Itchy? Itchy. You're silly. Right between the brow. Look at all that hair. I know, it's like coming off on the post. Yeah, I need to put bristles on there. Yeah. Also, like, Ducky's hair between her eyes right here is so, like, Fuzzy. In a row. Yeah, so now Peachy's getting that way too. Oh. You're getting very adventurous with the ladies in there. I know, she's she just really yeah. brave. wants to be one of the girls. Like yeah, don't sneak up on her. That's not a good idea. Yeah. What are you doing, Rue? Really? <laughs> Stupid ear. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I'm an outfit repeater in what I was wearing last night with Ani. I had to switch dresses that I was wearing because it was just really stinker. I had like hog mud from their snouts and their bodies like all over my dress. And then when I streamed on Twitch tonight, which my friends actually stuck around for, which like very much so surprised me because I was like, you don't have to do that, but it made the stream so much more fun. So shout out to you guys if you saw that. Hope you enjoyed the friend stream. Anyways, during the stream, I got like stinker water on me from a piece I was using, if you know what I mean. It was poured on me from the turkey piece I use and it smelled so bad, so I switched. That was a long explanation. But yeah, my friends just left and I'm literally just so happy. You know, just like when you're on a social high after seeing your friends and you're like, yeah, I loved it. Oh, just love girl time, truly. But I did wanna say that it was really sad at the same time because my friend Natalie just moved home to Iowa after we just saw her. Well, not like immediately after, but she's just gonna be like packing up her car and then driving home to Iowa. And I'm just like, fuck, man. <laughs> Once she left, me and Adi were like our third musketeer. <laughs> Adios. Um, but yeah, so I didn't like vlog any of that, obviously. I was streaming while that happened, though. Our goodbye, but it was like off camera from the stream. We were just talking today about how we're gonna need to um, do our FaceTiming, our Zoom time calls and i'm sure a lot of you can relate due to being in quarantine or not being able to see your friends or if you live like i do you know across the country from some of your best friends then you just have to stay in contact and make the effort so we were talking about the importance of that and also natalie plays animal crossing so i was like we can play that too together like visit each other's islands and shit there's a very loud truck outside. But anyways, it was really great to see them. I'm sorry I didn't film much of it, but also at the same time, it was really nice to just be with my pals. You guys got to see us having our moment in the hog pen, at least a portion of it. We were in there for a very long time. I was hosing down those hogs. We were cuddling those hogs. It was incredible. Just talking about life, talking about the reality of the Portland protests right now and how so many of us are just like getting terrified of what's happening, which I'm sure that a lot of you who have been seeing the news about Portland, if you don't live here, you're probably like, damn, that's crazy. Feds in Portland, what? But I haven't been out to any protests since the federal officers have arrived. Right now, what I wanna do, because I'm kind of low-key scared to protest, which I feel like is their tactic, fear anyways i digress because i'm scared to be frontline we were talking about that just today being like you know i feel like there's such a pressure of being like i'm not doing enough if i'm not frontline if i'm not in literal like crazy 
padding in a helmet like everybody is wearing such crazy stuff because of what's going on there they're very prepared and i don't have any of that stuff you know what i mean like a gas mask and helmet and like full pads and like shields Whew, yeah that's a lot so we we're all just talking about how we can show up in other ways instead of being a frontline protester right now so i would love to recommend to you guys to think about the same thing um i'm just trying to think of other places i can donate to that are like on the ground and if i can make sustainable supplies to supply them with and going to drop offs and just paying attention on you know various black lives matter organization pages around you to what they need like if you aren't still protesting right now and you're not still donating and you're not still doing other stuff but you want to do like hands-on work I really recommend just trying to find a place to donate to on the ground which is what I'm trying to do right now and Finley and I have been texting about that just ways to show up that aren't in Portland also because literally if we want to protest like I don't want to always have to drive an hour to protest you know so like really thinking I'm, I'm such a local gal as well like I just want to do local action in my community and like wow where I live like a lot of rural Oregon the dogs are playing if you can hear them I'm sorry I'm on a tangent now but honestly I hope you guys are down for it um a lot of where I live is just like it's primarily white like a lot of rural Oregon is and while there isn't like that huge of a black population here here, I'm still thinking of ways to like show up for my community because it is rather low income So I'm like maybe we do like a community fridge or like I don't know like food drop-offs and things like that So I'm just trying to think about that stuff too outside of just you know the BLM movement Even though like I do want to get more involved with that as well Just thinking of other ways to get involved in my community So that's what I'm thinking about right now And it's always really nice to talk to other people about that stuff Anyways happy that you guys got to hang out with us in the hogs and I honestly might end this vlog off here because I'm just outside playing with the dogs right now playing ball with them after Ani left and for the rest of the night I just plan on freaking hanging out making some dinner for myself and kicking my toesies up you know and this vlog has been going on for what three days and on the first day I got an hour of footage in itself so I'm sure that by now it is just overwhelming for me to edit and I'm sure me editing this right now is like wrap it up <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. You can become a patron of mine if you want to support my earnings for this month and just see more from me. Upload a lot of stuff on there. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching another vlog. See you next time. Stay smiling. Adios.